God be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. That's something that, in that, we're also looking at the growth of a nation as well. Even as we were cardinal in our, even in our conversion, we operated cardinally. After being born again, we operated for a season in carnality, and we are not even yet grown spiritually. I think the United States of America has reached that point in her growth as well. The United States of America, we can't say they didn't believe in God. I believe they did believe in God, but they, they received God from a carnal perspective, exercised their behaviors in a carnal manner. They furthered the kingdom from an external environment, and now the country itself is being bought, is being born again. I saw yeah. a commercial. Yeah. I saw a commercial on television the other day, and it freaked me out when I saw it. Because it said, "This is the new birth, the rebirth of America. Uh-huh. America is being born again spiritually." And 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 when I say that, I'm saying the, the people who the, the the children of God who have a knowledge of God and understand His processes, grown and matured spiritually are going to have forefront, they're going to have an influence in this nation to leading this country into the presence of God truly yeah. from a submitted perspective. Not from a, this is my agenda, I need you to bless it, but from God, what is your agenda and how can we carry out your plan and further in the right. kingdom and not try to endorse, get you to endorse ours. Right. And we are making that transition and we're seeing that take place right now. It's yeah. small settings like these seven men sitting at this table yeah. who have as much Influence in the world system in the United States of America as the president himself. Either one of us can go before God, and God can express himself to either one of us or all of us collectively. All of us, yeah. And this is where I think the country is now being brought as a as a country. It is growing to the point where it's being born again. Yeah. And the state is about to be made manifested through the sons of the God who have committed themselves to carrying out His will in the earth. Right. Oh, we be the mirror is being reflected. When we say, I think Brother Asin who said it. Uh, last uh, Thursday, the Bible is a mirror. Yeah. And we're looking at ourselves. Yes. Our spirit. Finally. Finally. Spirit. Finally. We're looking at ourselves. This God is dealing with this nation. Yes. Like God is dealing with this world. He dealing with the church in a, and he's trying to say that it's not just this world or this nation that we move into this sometimes a, a nationalist perspective uh, uh, or inclusion. The, the Bible is showing the whole world, look, y'all can't, y'all go down this path, then you're going to have this division, you're going to have this destruction, or you're going to come this path where we as a nation, we as a world is going to live together and help one another out. But you're right, this is, this is God dealing with us, and we're yeah. dealing with it in the middle of a pandemic, pandemic, and now we're dealing with a, a potential constitutional crisis. Well, well, I think sometimes too that we really only the greatest opportunity for us to show something yeah. is when the heat is on. And yeah, I think, when it comes, well, I think when it comes to love, those that deserve it the least probably need it the most. The most, yeah. 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 Here's what's gonna happen. You know, in basic training, there are a lot of people who never graduated from basic training. They yeah. just at home. But see, in the church now, I think that God has given the church a chance now to say, okay, I, I, I need, I, I, I have recruited you yes. for the purpose of becoming soldiers for the king. Come on now. But I need for you to complete your basic training. Come on now. I need for you to get over you. Because in basic training, you lose all your rights to yourself. Yeah. Mm. In basic training, you surrender your, listen, you sign a contract. Come on, you bro. sign your life over. Yeah. Exactly. So if we're going to be, if we can get out of basic training now and go on to the advanced thing, God is now looking for a group of people, a peculiar group of people, the real body of Christ that he can Come do on. in Come the on. middle of all of this craziness. Come on. Who will focus on the real work of the king. Come on. They're going to focus on Democrat or, or, or Republican. But they're looking at it in the midst of all this craziness. People are evidencing what they really know about God. Mm. Mm. No, I did. <laughs> People are evidence in what they really know about God. Yes, yes, and if yes. you read it correctly, you can get a great door is being opened to you so you can witness. Come on, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The revival has started. <laughs> yeah. You have to, yeah. 
agree. It opened that door for witness. Where, hey, it's almost like that one brother asked where they was asking, asking Jesus, who sinned, the man or the <coughs> Yeah. And, and what he said? Uh, neither one of them. Neither one yeah. of them. This, this is for to do the works of God. This is a door. <laughs> <laughs> this is a door that's been, that, that opened. Amen, man. Get that, people. Get that. <laughs> Amen. That got to go out. This is an opportunity. Mm. Thank, you. Thank you, Jesus. What's the body of Christ look like? Thank what you, does the Jesus. Look, back? Cause look, we are seeing what Islam was doing. Right? We'll see, we, I don't know about the rest of them, but we see what Islam was doing and how they was trying to do it. But uh, this is saying, this is how, the, what is the church gonna do? If my people, which are called by my name, would humble themselves and pray, Come on. and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, Come on. <laughs> then would I hear from heaven Come on. their sins and would heal their land. Heal their land. If my oh. people, which are called by my name, would humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Come on. And will I hear from them? Come on. So you know, ah, I praise him. Some of the anomalies <laughs> that are being, some of the things that are being discussed among folks in the church. Now, Jesus said, if you hate your brother, in your heart, you hate your brother. Yes. A and turn from their wicked ways. <laughs> You're a murderer. Okay, so now, so now, he, in, in Matthew 15, he said, it is that. all of sin, whether it be of adultery or lying or murder or whatever it is, he said, these things proceed not from the people of our head, but that. out of the heart. Out of the heart. So God has always dealt with the heart of men. Yes, sir. He never did with the external things about a man. Come on. All he said that those external things reveal what his true heart can be. Come on. <laughs> so you're crazy if you think that somehow that you go vote to somebody who say they don't believe in the murder of a baby, but you are you agree with somebody who murdered living people. Woo! The guy here, Philly. I like hold up now. Don't be talking about people. <laughs> All I'm saying is, is, if you're not hating your heart, then they, say, don't fool yourself. There's somehow because you vote for somebody who got a, 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 a policy that says don't kill. At the same time, while you got killing in your heart, that somehow God is pleased. Come on. Come on now. Come on. Come on. Because in the end, it ain't the policy that go in into the kingdom that's trying to get in the kingdom. It's you. It's you. Yeah. So we got to be real careful that we don't get deceived into this thing and recognize this God has not changed. God is unrighteousness. There's yeah. no murderer, no liar, no homemonger shall enter the kingdom of God. Come on here now. Huh? Come Look on. Out now. Come on. Woo! <laughs> and he's always looked at the spirit of man. <sighs> Even back in the garden, he asked Adam, Where are you? Where are he you? He wasn't talking about his physical being. Yeah, where you at? In relationship <laughs> to me. <laughs> yeah. Man, now you preach. Now you preach. <laughs> That's the whole point. So, but, such were, but such were some of you. And that's what he said. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. Worship. That's a worship moment right there. We're going to stop right now, and we're going to have an altar call right there. <laughs> <laughs> hey. That's, that's, that's the main thing, to, to, to keep that in the forefront of your mind. Where did God bring you from? And then what? And, and, what and, and then move from that. Because this Bible is not is not a telescope, it's not a set of binoculars, it's a mirror. It's a mirror. There, it, it is. really is. It is. It's a mirror. And and that's what we're saying for us to see. We, this like I said, I like this. This is an opportunity for the body of Christ to to show itself out. Yes, I got a question. I got a question. It's a talking mirror. <laughs> it is a talking mirror. This is a talking mirror. You can't put him here. This man's going to say something to you. You got something in your eye. <laughs> You're tired, crooked. <laughs> oh, it's, it's a light. It's, 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 going, it's, a, it's going to expose. It's a light. It's a light. It's, it's a, a light in here. Yeah. Right. You remember he said that scripture? I think Brother Elsa read that on Thursday. It's, it's at uh, in John 3, 16, and then I think it's like, what, 19? 
Mm -hmm. You may have said the deeds of man are evil because he loves the light. That's why he don't come to the light. Yeah. But if yeah. he comes yeah. to the light, if he comes yeah. to the light, then right. his deeds will be wrath, reproved, right. and wrought right. by God. So that's like right. you said, it's a talking, enlightening, speaking mirror. You know, Ooh, come on now. Hey, you know something? That that is a billion dollar industry right there, man. I'm telling you, it's a billion dollar idea. Can you imagine standing from a mirror and mirror saying your shoes don't match your pants? Your heart ain't right. You need to change that yeah. shirt. <laughs> okay. yeah. and I thought the Bible said out of the abundance of the heart. To my uh, yes, sir. <laughs> So what's coming look, out of our look, mind? here's what he gonna say. Yeah. I, I I allowed that to happen, not because it was controversial. I allowed that to happen because I wanted to show you something about you. Yeah, yeah. I think so. I think so. <laughs> we, hey, that, that, <laughs> enough, that is enough to chew for for the week, right there. Oh, no, but but, yeah, but, but but I do want to think. You know what, brother Isaac? We should show him that scripture. I think it's, it reflects it. That's brother Jackson. <laughs> read. John, John 3, 16 to uh, 21, and then, then let's close out with that. Uh, but the point is, we definitely need to understand what's going on. And I think, Bishop, I think our works are being, it's being manifest in the light, so it can't be wrong by God or this nation. Go ahead, Brother, Brother Jackson. For God so loved the world that he gave uh -huh. his only begotten son, uh -huh. that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Come on. For God sent not his son into the, to the world to condemn the world, but that what? the world through him might be what? saved. Come on. He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned what? already. Already. He hath not believed in the name of the only begotten son the of only. God. The only. The only begotten. And this is the condemnation. Huh? The light is coming to the world, and men love darkness rather than light. All right, now. Yeah. Because All right, their deeds were evil. Let me stop right there. All right. You want to stop? <laughs> you see, you see, you got to understand, though. He's telling you, he's talking about ancestors for some of you. We come here with a love for darkness. Yes. Amen. Yeah. Man. yeah. Mm. Not just because you got a Bible, it don't sit in a building, it put money in a plate. Woo. Don't change what you really love. Woo. And so God got to put situation in front of you so that your darkness can be exposed. Wow. Mm. You know that. You me. All right. All <laughs> right. I'll go ahead. And this is the condemnation that light is coming to the world and men love darkness rather than light. Yes. Because their deeds were evil. Yes. Come on. For everyone that doeth evil hateth the light. Yes. Hate it. Hate it. Neither Hate cometh it. to the light. Lest his deeds should be reproved. Yes. Come on. But he that doeth truth cometh to the light. Cometh to the light. His deeds may be made manifest. Yes. And they that they are wrought in God. Come on. No, sir. They're, they're not wrought in the flesh. Come on. No, sir. No. No. Wrought in God. I like that. And I yeah, I like mm. the fact that you come coming to, he led you to bring your deeds to the light. So it can be checked out, right? You know, mm -hmm. to prove it. Let, let me check out your deeds, and listen, then let me let me fix it. Listen, the, the mere fact that he came to the light is the evidence that God is working. Come on, brother. Yes, sir. Come yes, on. Sir. Come yes, on. Sir. So yes, they're not seeking after God. Ain't yes, nobody looking for God. They said they all no, not right. one. Come no, on. not when one. Somebody come to the light. Woo. Jesus has no man to come except the Father draw him. Come on. Come on. Woo. Uh uh. Uh uh. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> See, hey! <laughs> hey, that, hey bro, Jack, that's a dumb fast summer. <laughs> hey, get the Knock me out. Get, Knock the me out. get the community ready. Get the community ready. All right, I'm already ready. That's too much. <laughs> Woo. The rest of y'all ready? Somebody. Sound like somebody. Here we go. <laughs> somebody <laughs> preach it. Go ahead and let us hold on to this. I, I just, you know, the very thing I get out of it is let your deeds come to the light. Let it be yeah. checked out. Let it be yeah. reproved. No. I'm working, man. I think this nation, to me, that's what this nation is doing. It's happening. It's happening. I think our deeds are being manifest. 
And you really gotta give the, the uh, Mr. Trump the credit. Hey, I'm coming as I am. I'm. Hey, look, this is me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's real. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Y'all got to tell me what it's gonna be reproved, what it's gonna be wrought by God. But I, I am reflecting and representing a group of people that may think like I think. I believe God. I believe. I believe God. I believe God used him. I do to bring about what what God's plan was. I, I think, think so. he's gonna use the next one to bring about what God's plan is. Yeah, I think you, you, so. It's the manifestation of a nation. The nation put this man in, in place. Yeah. And the word and it says, when I was a child, I thought I was a child. I spoke to the child. Come and on. if you look at his behavior, his how his behavior is childish. It's selfish. It's self centered. It says all about him. And when you're a child, that's how you think. You hollering and crying, not because you want to help mom and dad, but you need them to come and give you a bottle or change the diaper or something like that. And Mr. Trump's behavior is that of a child. He is he's, he's an infant in, in, in his thought processes, and in his desires, in his acceptance. He can look at something and say something else. It, it, reality doesn't mean anything to him. He creates his own reality, and that's how children think. But now, that's the state of the nation. That is the state of the nation. The next manifestation has to be that of an adult. Yes. You see, and that's what I think that God is bringing us to that. And he right. is a reflection of the church. Right. More so than he is the commun- the, 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 the nation, uh, yeah. the, the, the secular section of us. The, yeah. the church itself is being manifested by Mr. Trump. Yeah. God is showing us us. Yeah. Like a lot of times we have wives and we can't stand the way that they act. But they wives be doing the same thing we be doing to the God. <laughs> the same thing they be doing yeah. us. Yeah. And I think that we are seeing yeah. manifestation in the United States of America now. My prayer. Yeah. Whoever he brings on the scene next, we got to grow up. And, and I think. Body of Christ has to grow up. And it said that people look to this country. Yes. Yeah, the the world, world looks to this country. The world. And, and the world had an opportunity. Look, so it's really preaching. Hey, brother, Isaac, it's really preaching to the world, too. Because I remember when uh, I don't mean a how about maybe say I have a different opinion about Obama, but you remember that one time after the election, he said there and say, Do you miss me now? <laughs> he said, <laughs> You remember that? Do you miss me? I, I saw a meme. I, I never saw him say that, but I saw yeah. a meme that did that. <laughs> he actually said, Do you miss me now? <laughs> We're talking about Obama, right? And, and that's right. And I'm also saying that the world, though, the world, they get a chance to see the, this nation in different aspects. And exactly. now, which one do you want? You know, which one do and, you want? And, and which one you want is going to be determined by individual uh, interpretation and understanding and biases. Well, and, and the thing about That's it is that they, it is also showing, as Jimmy, is that the, the nation voted. You know, and the thing about it, too, is that if voted overwhelmingly for one direction, if they felt well, I wouldn't say direction. I wouldn't say overwhelmingly because that's not really true. Well, it's real close, and so it's five, divided. It's about a good even division. Well, with five million people, five or six million people, and the fact oh, that great, and, and look, Jimmy, nope. the of the day, it was a great turnout on both sides. Yeah, yeah, it was. Well, I mean, they set records. Both of them set records. Yeah, but fifty percent to forty-seven percent. It's not overwhelming in terms of definition. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm That's all I'm saying. Yeah, yeah I agree. I agree to that. It's just the fact is that the decision of the redirection, that's what this country is really good at, is, is, is saying, I'm not going in the right direction. Let's change. Okay, now, so my question becomes, what is the church, how the church responds now? What are we doing? What do what, what, what we have our ears and our eyes open for now? Oh, what the Bible tells us. That's what the Spirit of God leads us to what the Bible teaches. Amen. Right. That's yeah. it. And the thing is, it's just that simple. Yeah. And the thing is, I think uh, Byron had said something earlier about, about, hey, d- d- no matter what has happened here in the past four or five years, it hasn't stopped any of us individually yeah. from going out and doing what we need to do. Yeah. And I think that is what we need to do is go right. out what we need to do. You know, right. the thing is, is, and we talked about it a couple of weeks, a couple of months ago. Um, what am I doing in my household? Exactly. What am I doing where I work at? What yeah. am I doing when I'm out there in the street? Yeah. And and each of us, I think, have, have, have done some things and, and we keep it to ourselves because we know that the glory goes to God the Father. Okay. Yeah. So that's one reason why yeah. we can come back and say, hey, look at what I did this past week. But I think that's the important thing is that that's we it. 
Um, but, you know, we take, for instance, what we've learned today, because you're right, there's a, there's a lot to chew on what we've got today. And when, then, then we take, and, in the, and on the, in the best of our, I shouldn't say our ability, but allowing God to work through us yes. to go do what we need to do. Yes. And um, you know what? Somebody said it earlier, and, and, and uh, you know, even if I make mistakes, like I was, you know, I was concerned about some things that I was doing, helping this gentleman out. But even if I make mistakes, if my motivation is correct, hey, you know, God is going to be glorified nevertheless. And that's what we need to do. Because if we keep trying to worry about this big grand scheme of things, it is way too complicated. Yeah. Uh, uh, well, I'll tell you something. I'll tell you something. I, I heard something today that it just keeps resonating in my mind. I think it was just astounding. And that is the greatest demonstration of love is obedience. Oh, my goodness. Yes, Amen. That's amazing right there. That's the only way you can really prove your love. Yeah. It's through obedience. It's through mm -hmm. obedience. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think the bishop said that. Mm -hmm. Let me say something about President Trump, man. I don't want y'all to think on the big scale. Of that. I was on, I, I'm not criticizing him. Won't you just, uh, just, just look at him and think about this. When you have a person who is unsaved, he's, Jesus says if you're unsaved, you're not whole. Mm -hmm. So when you're not whole, now God has created you with a gigantic, deep need for him within. There's a void. And so when, you, when that void is not filled by God, what we do is we try to fill it with something external. Yes. Right. Okay. When I look at the president, the current president, he is the embodiment of someone who is trying to fill the void. Yes. With something other than God. Amen, man. And, 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 and now, if you oh. attract it to that, that means you are. That, that means that, that, that there's got to be some some common thread that runs between you mm -hmm. and the person that you follow. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Because the only reason we're following Jesus is because we want what He got. Yes, man. We want to become like Him. We've been ordained, the Scripture said, before the foundation of the world to be conformed to His image. Yes, yes. Well, if, if all these people are following Trump, my crowd out to say to you. That we ain't got nothing on the inside. And it, it, it is a chance for us really to realize that it is a chance for us. But you're going to run into these people everywhere. They're trying to find fulfillment, trying to find purpose, trying to find satisfaction, trying to find wholeness in all the wrong places. Mm. They're, like, they're, they're like the woman in the well. She came to the well, but Jesus said, Look, it, you, you can keep drinking that water, but it ain't going to satisfy your need. Oh, Lord. That's a good word. What you need is a drink from this other well. Yes, and I'm the well, and the well, that can give you wholeness and give you satisfaction. Man. But as long as you keep drinking from the water you're drinking, you have to keep coming here to draw. <laughs> but if you drink from the water, else it can give you. Mm -hmm. Hold up. That's a good word. Chris, you want to say something, Chris? We close out. I thought he was. I thought Chris was trying to C4. No, I'm here, brothers. No, I'm just getting back on. I had, I was getting gas. That's what happened. Then I just locked my phone back on. Oh, back oh. in. But no, everything is good, brothers. I'm, I enjoyed it. Hey, I enjoyed you. everything. Hey, you want to go ahead and because uh, you got enough to chew on for. Oh. <laughs> well, we got a big old steak in front of us. <laughs> yeah, brother. Woo. Hey, yeah, I was just wondering, does somebody else want to do the uh, communion? You know, just kind of share the, the honor. Uh, Anybody? Jimmy, you want I don't. I don't have my Jimmy, communion I'm stuff together. So, okay. All right. I'll go ahead and do this then. Okay. Let, let, let us. Uh, let us pray, because we know we're doing this in spirit. Nevertheless, Amen. dear Father in heaven, Lord, you are worthy, so worthy to be praised, honored, and glorified. Uh, any words that I use right now, Father, would be. Uh, it would be understatements just because of just what you revealed to us uh, today. Yes. So you know what is in our hearts. You know, you know how in the spirit we are speaking to you right now with words that, that cannot um, or are barely expressed, dear Father. Yes. Lord Jesus, thank you for the revelation for you, the living word, and how you have revealed to uh, yourself to us uh, this morning. 
Uh, here we are. We are we are passionate right now, dear dear Jesus, for what we have uh, learned about you and and how you are developing our character and and from where we were when we first sat down this morning to where we are right now. Uh, dear Jesus, we thank you for obeying and we thank you for being the example uh, that we need to be. And we just ask that the spirit of the living God just continue to work through us so that we can do your will and display our love to you, God, our Father. Yes, Lord. And now, dear Jesus, we take what we have, whether we have something in our hands or not, dear Jesus, you know what, what we are here for. Yeah. Right now, we're here to remember you and to continue to remember you yes. and to be enlightened by you throughout our day mm. and, and into our evenings. And if you give us tomorrow, then when we wake up tomorrow, likewise, we want to wake up seeking your kingdom. Yes. And so right now we, we pause for a moment mm. and in spirit, we pause and we, we, we take this bread. We know that your body was suffered for us. Yes. We know that you laid down your life for us, mm. that we would have life more abundantly and that, that we would live forever in the relationship of Thank God the you. Father and with you, dear Jesus. So right now we take this bread or whatever we have, yes. we break it and eat it in remembrance of you. Amen. Thank you. Now give us a healing of Amen. Mm. Lord Jesus, we thank you. We give you thanksgiving. We uh, help us, dear Jesus, so that when and if the time comes that we have to lay that, make that ultimate sacrifice. Well, not for our glory, come but on for now. the glory of the Father. Yes. And you so you have already proved, dear Jesus. Mm. You have already made the the calculation. You've already made the the, the, the sacrifice. You, uh, oh, I can't even put it into words. Come on, sir. come on. But we thank you. Thank you. We thank you. thank you. And right now we take the contents of whatever we have. We know it represents your pure blood shed Amen. upon us. Amen, man. And you, in God's sight, if, if he sees pleasure in us, it's only because of you, dear Jesus. It's only because of you. <laughs> and we Woo. thank you, son of God, savior of the world. You came to this world not to condemn it, but to save it. But to save it. Mm. And we remember you. Yes. Right now we take and drink. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Father, where we are, make it holy ground. Yes. Let the words that we speak for the remainder of this day be, be, be to glorify you. Yes. And if we fail you, and when we fail you, dear Father, forgive us for our sin. Amen. Amen. But let us continue to grow and continue to be developed. And, and just move closer yes. to that light that we spoke about a little while ago. Yes. And we thank you, dear God, our Father. We say these things in Jesus' precious and holy name. Amen. 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 And help us to love our enemies. Amen. 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 Praise him. She was on that stage. That's a lot to chew. I, I need to go reflect on it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. For real. Bless. <laughs> Y'all be blessed as well. Yeah. You, had to, you don't have to edit too much out of this one, do you? No, I don't think so. Don't this think is a good one. Yeah, hold up and attack, man. I need that one. <laughs> from, start to, from, from start to finish. I start putting it together. I know it. I start putting it together. Amen. That, that's right, a good man. one. That's See a good you. one. Stay blessed. Y'all be blessed. You too. <laughs>